Ask Reddit by Oracle 1998. What is something good going on in the world that a lot of people aren't aware of? An eastern black rhino was just born. HTTPS colon slash slash biglife dot org slash program dash updates slash big dash life dash news slash not dash our dash imagination close bracket comma a complete surprise to the rangers who protect the 1000 remaining in the wild. They are critically endangered, the rarest of the subspecies, and this is a monumental occasion. Wow, no poaching in 8 years is such a massive achievement. There are about 10 to 12 million people in the United States who quilt. Most of them belong to quilt guilds that donate to homeless shelters veteran shelters other types of places where people need blankets. My quilt guild donated over 800 this year and we only have 80 people in our guild. This genuinely made me laugh because I read it as somewhere between 10 people and 12 million people quilt. The thought of that being the range gave me a great chuckle. Every quilt I see makes me think of my grandma, and that makes me super happy. They are successfully rewilding beavers in the UK. That's some justice for the beavers. Humpback whales are no longer endangered. After the disappearance of a pair of tagged humpbacks in the late 80s, more funding was made available for rescue efforts. They were released from the Cetacean Institute, tagged with radio transmitters on 401 MHz, and bam. A day later, gone. No trace of them. I know this is older news, but maybe people aren't aware of it. Researcher scientists have been working with the bacteria to fight cancers. Bacillus comet gallerin has been used with some success to fight bladder cancer. Edited for clarity. Edit to here https colon slash slash www.ncbi.nlm.ni.gov slash pmc slash articles slash pmc 9377996 slash closed bracket is a more in-depth article I found. The good kind of biological warfare. The days are long and the years are short as a criminal defense attorney. Sometimes I feel discouraged, hopeless, and exhausted. Last year, I took on a military service member pro bono because I sensed he needed my help and needed any hope I could offer him. I convinced a therapist to take on his case pro bono, too. Over the next year, he chose to be sober, attended therapy each week, and really worked to change. This week, I successfully dismissed his case. At his graduation, he told me he once had no hope for future and seriously contemplated suicide. But now, he is hopeful and looking forward for the future. Despite how hard my job is most days, it gave me the strength to keep going. That's a beautiful story. Congratulations on making it happen, and thank you for sharing. Many endangered animal species are on the rebound now such as the bald eagle, humpback whales and scouse swallowtail butterflies due to increased conservational efforts. There's a bald eagle nest that showed up 4 years ago by my place. Thanks to pandemic and people leaving it alone he has a mate and they had 4 chicks. Teen pregnancy rates hit a historic low in 2022. That is good news. I wonder how much that is tied to global pandemic and lockdowns. Teens these days are smarter than I was 20 years ago, but I wonder if this stat will rebound? This graphic, yearly cases of guinea worm into 188 b 1 6 one and amp, status equals master. I look this up again when I'm having a bad day or humanity starts to seem awful to me. We can be, but we also did this. We reduced cases of a horrifying, agonizingly painful parasitic infection that destroys lives and livelihoods from over 1,000 cases a year to 7 and that's just in Ethiopia. A lot of hard-working people did some amazingly good work. Wasn't this President Carter's pet project for years? The ozone layer is thickening. The ozone is easily our best example of how we can effectively work to repair environmental damages. 
the global movement to plant trees is quietly making strides. India set a world record by planting over 66 million trees in a single day, contributing to a positive impact on the environment and climate. Do they say what type of trees? Like this isn't like Brazil saying they are planting trees but it's for palm oil. Seriously asking would like to watch read something on this. I lived in Los Angeles during the 80s, in Van Nuys. I didn't realize that there was a mountain range to the north of the valley. I drove through in 2013 and there was very little smog. I have been told by people I know who live there that the smog is like 10 or 20 percent of what it was in the 80s. My dad grew up in LA in the 40s and 50s. We are in Northern California, and maybe 20 years ago during wildfire season, late summer to early fall, we had a really bad air day, with all the requisite warnings to stay home for at-risk populations, etc. I was complaining about it and he said something like, oh yeah, this isn't even as bad as a typical day when I was a kid, the air was so thick you could taste it, ugh. So glad for the smog regulations here. Medicine and treatment for many ailments has progressed through the years improving quality and quantity of life. As a type 1 diabetic diagnosed 28 years ago, I agree. I remember when a simple thing like checking my blood sugar level took a couple minutes to do. Now, with continuous glucose monitors, they check every 5 minutes and give warnings if you're trending in a bad way. Instead of getting 4 or 5 snapshots of where your blood sugar is through the day, you get a graph that shows the last 24 hours. CRISPR treatment has just been FDA approved to cure sickle cell disease. Needs more attention. Experts are being extremely reserved about the potential of CRISPR for medical applications, probably rightfully so while we see how this plays out, but, well fuck I'm even hesitant to say it. This could be the biggest medical breakthrough ever. Pinexalin wouldn't even be close. Researchers have successfully cured HIV in several non-human primates. We're closer to real cure. We've also cured HIV in human infants who were born with the disease. There has been a major breakthrough in meaningfully extending the lifespan of people with ALS using drugs that are already on the market and FDA approved. Their effectiveness at treating ALS was discovered as a direct result of research funded by the massive influx of donations from the various ice bucket challenges of the early 2000s. Great news, but I'll be that guy, the ice bucket challenges were mid-2010s, not early 2000s. I work as a mental health therapist. There is certainly a mental health crisis, and, there are also a lot of people who are recovering. Most of the people who I see end up recovering and graduating from therapy within a year. We talk a lot about how bad mental health is. We don't talk a lot about recovery and mental health. I can tell you're a therapist because you use the DBT and... Thanks for the work you do. I was depressed for years and I've really turned my life around after a summer long outpatient CBT DBT program. Southern Ocean right whales populations are growing at 7% a year. Bowhead whale populations have tripled and have almost recovered to pre-exploitation levels. Humpback populations in Australia have recovered and are higher than pre-exploitation. Others, which haven't recovered like the Atlantic right whale, have stopped their steep decline and hopefully can start the process of population recovery. Stopping the practice of whaling is, finally, having a positive effect. I wish this were the case for sharks and dolphins especially near Japan and China. Exploiting sharks for their fins and leaving them to die at the bottom of the ocean is just horrible colon. My local animal shelter has a food bank for owners who can't afford food for their pets. And I'm sure it's not the only shelter that does it. Chewy refunds you for recently purchased pet food when your pet dies and suggests you donate the food to a shelter animal food bank. Thank you, OP, for this question. So easy to get caught up in and only see the bad. I appreciate you drawing attention to the good.
The thread is a wild ride with all the trolls but I'm glad it's bringing joy to some of you. Extreme famine has been decreasing significantly the past decade on a global scale. In the USA, orgs like the Red Cross, FEMA, ETC, always leave slots empty in their staffing for disaster relief, because people always show up to volunteer. David Attenborough is still healthy. If he dies before the year's out, Carrie Fisher style, I'm blaming you. Law. Black bear population in Missouri is recovering. The sun is still going strong. Deadly laser is friend. I'm a teacher and my class is super kind and well behaved for the most part. Gives me a little faith in our future. Oh my goodness. I came here to say exactly that. I teach mostly juniors. I saw a post yesterday from a teacher that was having serious problems with her football players. I adore my football players. I'm always reading horror stories, mostly on Reddit, about students, teachers, and schools, and I always end up with a little bit of survivor's guilt because I'm having a great time teaching. In a public school. Another teacher and I were doing hall duty together and we decided that today's kids are so much better than we were at their age. They have had and will have challenges we didn't have coming up in this world, and they need a little grace in their learning how to do that themselves. They are teenagers in every sense, but they are good kids. Edited to add a word. Every day millions of people choose to be kind. Had an extraordinary welcoming visit to the USA. So many kind and amp, generous people. What a beautiful surprise. I live in the US, and while we could use major improvements in some aspects of life here, it's not a depressing hellhole like the media would have you believe. Locally, certainly in the East Midlands, UK, there has been a lot of opportunities take to a wild huge areas of land again. Golf courses, with rolling hills and pond streams are having meadows returned and more trees planted. Farmland that's been mismanaged or untenable and literally being a waste of space is having forests replanted. I took my two-year-old son to plant some birch, oak and chestnut trees near to Sherwood Forest, along with several thousand others, all done by willing and happy volunteers. It may not seem much but it's becoming much more popular. In the short term we should see wildflower meadows, birds, bees and woodland animals returning. In the long term, many years after our lifetime there should be huge swathes of cities countryside with accessible and diverse woodland and green spaces. Euthanasia rates at shelters, in the US, are less than half than 10 years ago, and less than 20% vs 50 years ago. Successful homing rates is just over 90%. In 1960 it was about 40% DART. Within 5 years, if trends continue, kill rates should be near zero with the only kills being due to untreatable illnesses, such as rabies, or repeated aggressive behavior. I live in NC where the euthanasia rates seem to be worsening if anything especially due to the pandemic. I'd love to see citations and article on what you shared if you have any sources, not because I don't believe you but because it would be very reassuring to read through. The solar farm that is being installed in my rural area, that will power 10,000 homes at least, is ahead of schedule in construction. They are building one in my area too. Despite the many idiots popping up continually at town meetings and on social media ranting about how it's all a giant hoax designed to give us covered and cancer and is huge fire risk. I found out my dog doesn't have cancer. I about cried when I got the news. I'm so happy for you and the sweet bean. Not significant for any of you, but pretty significant and really good for me. After telling my family and friends about the abuse I'm experiencing at home, we are secretly making plans to get me the heck out of here. I even have his friends on my side, and he doesn't suspect a thing. I left in the middle of the night Christmas Eve two decades ago. I wish you all the best in a healthier setting. You never regret leaving unhealthy habits and people behind.
The feelings are complex and take time to untangle but it is never I wish I stayed because it was a better life. Hoping to spark some positivity after the post from earlier, not pointing fingers, it was really informative. I appreciate this question. I actually smiled reading these, needed this after the other thread. Edit, holy shit I've never gotten this many upvotes. All over, in every city, there are people anonymously helping others. For example, I just learned of a group of volunteers in my town who make wood beds for kids who don't have a bed. They make thousands a year. Other volunteers are at the food bank many days a week. A lot of good is going on that never makes headlines. Bloom where you're planted. Help when you can. The expansion of renewable energy sources. Many countries are making big moves with wind and solar power. It's a positive development for the environment and the future, even if it doesn't always receive widespread attention. That's been enabled in part by the dramatic decline in the cost of solar and wind, 80% in the last decade, and energy storage costs seem to be following. I'm starting to get sick of being high and drunk. Slowly turning into a regular human again. I'm in a similar situation myself. Improving myself slowly but surely. Wishing you luck. I love this post. You see more negative news nowadays. Violent crime, murder, kidnapping, etc. has gone down significantly these past few decades, partly due to cell phones and being able to call 911 sooner. My daughter is 11 and in middle school. I always ask her if there are any bullies or like popular people. She always tells me that no one really bullies and there aren't really popular people that leave everyone else out. When I was in school all anyone ever cared about was being popular and there were tons of bullies. If what she is saying is true, it gives me hope. Obligatory is your daughter the popular bully? My mental heath is improving due to DBT. DBT being developed in itself is a huge stride in mental health care that not many know about. It's a specialized form of CBT therapy that tends to help those with trauma-based disorders. Too good to go is a growing business one meal every three seconds is saved from going into the trash, according to the founder. I just used it today. Only company in my area is a donut shop, but there was a good box of donuts up for grabs. If I'm accepted to law school it will be paid for. I'm from a very poor background with no professional family members and I may break the chains. Fingers crossed that you get accepted. Break those chains, friend. There's a rather effective malaria vaccine that started distribution this year. That's kind of huge. As someone who travels to Africa regularly for work. Sign me up. The anti-malaria pills they give me always make me sick to my stomach. A new treatment for tuberculosis, which is still a huge cause of mortality globally, that is cheaper, shorter, works more effectively, and has fewer side effects has just finished a clinical trial. This is an enormous leap forward for TB treatment worldwide and will absolutely help decrease the disease burden in countries where TB is still a massive killer. Bonus points because dying of TB is horrible and slow. I love reading this thread. A young entrepreneur started the ocean cleanup with goals to remove 90% of plastics in the ocean mostly targeting the Great Pacific Garbage Patch with large nets designed to keep wildlife out and the garbage in. Recently their company released a smaller version and deployed to some of the most polluted rivers in the world in order to stop plastic from ever getting to oceans to begin with. https colon slash slash theocenecleanup.com slash Child mortality rates are steadily improving. Same goes with literacy rates, access to clean water, schools, medicine woman's rights along with most any stat relating to universal quality of life on earth. Worded like that I first thought you meant children were dying at increasingly faster rates, lol. Bit morbid. 
I am getting along great with my wife and we are growing as a couple. Most of the world is totally unaware. I also built some speakers I really like. Maybe two people know that. I'm surprised nobody has replied yet, that's an awesome achievement for you guys, and if you keep messing with speakers you'll be flipping them and learning different electronic equipment in the process. That could lead to some cool opportunities for y'all. You and the wife stay safe. There's a growing optimism about the inevitability of renewable energy. We have a lot of work ahead of us, but the most salient point is this. Renewable energy is technology, not a resource. Resources are finite. Technology is ever evolving. If you are familiar with Moore's law, you know that technology is always advancing to become more powerful and more affordable.